All right. Um, so how many, how many, anybody in here ever have a challenge or ever felt something rise up into them and they were kind of too scared or too conserved that they couldn't do it because they, it was going to kind of make them feel or it's going to be kind of rough if they had to go into that situation? Anybody have that ever happened to them? Okay, so I'm going to, in the Bible, I'm going to go over a circumstance that kind of happened. Uh, you guys probably know Peter walking on the water. Um, so you can turn to uh, Matthew 14. Um, and I'll start on verse, um, it's pretty much, if you don't know already, it's uh, Jesus is walking on the water towards the disciples inside of the boat, and, um, and they think it's a ghost, and, and we'll pick it up right there. And they said it's a ghost, and they cry out for fear. But immediately Joseph, or Joseph, Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. I'm in the New King James Version, if you don't know already. And uh, Peter answered to them, or Peter answered to them and said, Lord, if it is you, or answered to him, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. And we, when Peter walked onto, when he went into the water, then I'm just going to kind of go fast forward through. But then he started walking on the water and started the winds and the waves started um, coming and started happening. So he started disbelieving that he could do what Jesus had just told him or what, what he said that he could do it. And then uh, Jesus said, oh, you little faith, why, have, why did you doubt? Um, so I believe that this, this can really uh, relate to a lot of people in their lives in taking the, the step, that, that step of faith into, into the new, next dimension of their lives. Um, um, so if you think about in the, in the Bible, Peter, when he's in the boat, obviously the boat is his comfort zone. If he stays in that boat, even though the winds and the waves are happening, that is his safety. If he's going to be safe, it's going to be inside of that boat. He, don't, he, he probably doesn't think that he's going to be safe. But then, of course, he's seen, he's seen Jesus do all of these miraculous things, so he believes that, hey, maybe if I start walking, then I can do this. Um, so, but then, once things started losing his distraction of Jesus, and this is where it's huge in our lives, I feel like people take steps of faith sometimes, but they lose the distraction of Jesus, and they get distracted by that, and then all of a sudden they fail, and they're like, whoa, Jesus, what happened? Like, but you lost the distraction. You didn't stay in the Word. You weren't... You are committed to that through Jesus. Instead, you, they, they kind of do it on their own will, on their own power, instead of going through Jesus. Um, so one related story that I would like to say that I, um, is me coming here into Southeastern. Um, I'll never forget the night I was driving to the gym to just work out one day, and I was finishing up on my last internship at my last place I was at, and I was kind of thinking about what's the next place to go, or what's my next step in my life. and. Um, and I was sitting in my car one day and I got tagged by a Facebook post and it was my old mentor and he had tagged me in that our, our old head strength coach here, he had reached out and said, hey, if something went through the GA that I had originally hired that he backed out. Um, so immediately I saw that and my coach had been kind of pushing some jobs and stuff like that in front of me and I was, and I was kind of, uh, my attitude was, oh, I can't move that way, I can't move that, it's too far for me, I can't go that way, I can't do that because of this reason, this reason, this reason. But then I thought about it and I was like, I was like, this situation is so perfect for me. Why would I not do it? And then, I mean, I'm not gonna say the completely whole story, but I just told myself, I'm gonna take, I had two routes. I had the route of staying in Orlando and coaching there and going back into a position that wasn't necessarily as good as what I'm doing right now, or I could have taken the, the harder route and had and been and been doing things on a much higher scale. Um, and one thing that I always love is that is that God always works through you and makes you know, He'll never give you something you can't handle. Um, and that and that before that season had before that had happened, I had a season of of, of growth and and just getting stronger in the Word, and I had no reason why that I had this sudden urge to just push and grow in a way that I was in, in a way that I was doing. I had no idea, no no reason. It just happened to me. I just had this feeling that I needed to do that. So if you ever, if you ever don't want to ever have anything rustle you up or anything, it's it's always said that just don't do anything. <coughs> just kind of stay in your own in your own in your own box and kind of sit there. And I see a lot of people, even within the church, they kind of go through the motions. You know, they might be in a in a certain leadership level, but they're not really pushing. They're not taking taking the next step of faith out into it. Um, so what would be our next step? Um, how can we build this faith? You don't necessarily have to take big, huge steps of faith um, right off the bat, you know. 
that that's when it would be just to first of all keep God first, keep keep the Lord first, stay as we are all here in the inspiring preachers and, and leaders. Um, we are all pushing and should be learning, um, but to take the little little tiny steps of faith, as in like, hey, you walk by somebody and you feel like somebody said, hey, God said, like, hey, go talk, say that to him real quick. It could be something as, hey, you know, God loves you, walk away. You know, something so small as that, but then that those small things can build up into those big things. So I like to think of it almost as a muscle and that exercising that so that when that big thing, that big opportunity comes for us, that we take that step and we already know that we're making it right now. Get ourselves comfortable being uncomfortable. Got it? All right. That's it. All right.